The New York club where the Ramones, Blondie, the Talking Heads all got their start. And now the new movie CBGB is taking us back to the 1970s. Alan Rickman, Eliza Dushku, and Peter Vack were just a few of the stars who hit the red carpet in New York for the premiere. Reels reporter Viviana Vigil takes you further into the story of the legendary club. So your new movie, CBGB, sort of a history of the CBGB, and who knew that it was such a sweet tale? Yeah, right? Everybody wants to be in a band and have bands, so new bands are going to start up and show up. You have no idea what's about to happen here. I, as many people had the, the, the misconception that, that it was a hostile place, that it was, you know, it became more, the music became more hardcore later. Initially, it was a lot of spoken word poetry and things of that nature. So much good music in this movie. Such a good time watching it. Do you have any favorites? I was excited to see Mal and Duke Blondie, uh, which is nailed. Hi, we're Blondie. You're gorgeous! Thank you. And the Ramones was really interesting to be able to kind of see that whole thing recreated. Taylor is a deep pop. I was really excited to. I was really excited to see, it, and he did a great job. Every actress in town, the first thing they ask, who played who played Demi? Yeah. With, with almost venom in their voice. I know, right? <laughs> she probably wasn't good. No, she was awful. What is CBGB and Elm Plug? Country, Country Blue Gasoline Blues. Gas blues. <laughs> and other music for Gormandizers. Gormandizers, yeah, upstanding. You can catch CBGB in theaters October 11th for The Reels Report. I'm Viviana Behe. Hollywood happens here.